No, the president was not aware that he was displacing the Ochiol at the time he was hired. But is he attempting to resolve the situation? Yes. So he's met with the head of the Ochiol Nation and the developer, and he's consulting with the Alachua County Land Use Commission. What would the president like to say to the 60 tribes that are protesting outside the White House? That he respects the Ochiol's plight. And um, he's working hard to craft a solution. Commissioner Bradley, I understand that the protesters on Pennsylvania Avenue aren't permitted, but I would appreciate it if not a single one of them was removed. Thank you for your understanding. Goodbye. I spoke to the Bureau of Indian Affairs about recognizing the Ochoa as a nation. Good. Then we could put the land in a trust, stop any further development. Well, except the BIA has declined to recognize the Ochoa in the past. If we renew the application, it could take years. <sighs> Can we cut through the red tape with an executive order giving the Ochoa people federal recognition? It's an end run, but there's no procedural bar. Start the process. Yes, sir. I also need to update you on your wife's foundation. Is it settled? No, sir. We may have a problem. It's your brother. Trey, you know the definition of irony. I'm sure you're going to enlighten me. My brother, who I haven't had a meaningful conversation with in God knows how long, goes into a meeting about my wife's legacy and makes himself the center of attention. That wasn't my goal. Then what was? To get your attention. Well, you've got it. What do you want? To fix things between us. Why now? Huh? Seriously, Trey, why now? I get tenure at Columbia. You send me an email two months later. You hadn't returned my last two phone calls. Most of my White House staff didn't even know you existed because you've never been to a White House function. You know I travel for business. And then you show up at my wife's funeral and you don't even talk to me. Because you were surrounded by your secret service. <laughs> Same old Trey. Always got an excuse. I don't need an excuse. I have an explanation. Every time I reach out to you, you don't reach back. You don't treat me like a brother, Tom. You treat me like an infection. Because you're a runner, Trey. That's what you do, you run. That was a long time ago. Not for me. Our mother was dying. For three years, I did everything I could to hold it together. You know what you were doing? Backpacking in Bali, surfing in Maui. That's not why I left. I can't wait to hear this one. Why'd you leave, Trey? Because I was a screw-up. The problem, child, that I knew that if I stayed, everyone would be taking care of me instead of mom. Going was my way of helping. Do you even understand how selfish you sound? You leaving hurt mom more than your staying ever could have. I'm sorry. If you're honestly sorry, you'll go back in there, sign off on Alex's wishes, and leave. <laughs> <laughs>